Hey everyone. You want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> so we are going to see how many times we get interrupted. Camden's eyeballing us. Did you see that? He was like, all right, they're off playing. Okay. So we have been wanting, or I shouldn't say trying. We've been talking about doing an update video and well, life is just really busy and we don't have a lot of time sitting down just chatting before you know it the day is over and we're tired and haven't done it so we're finally getting to this i wanted this done before nathan went back to work and you've been back at work Dad. yeah one <laughs> okay crisis averted we handled it <laughs> so i wanted to have this done before you went back to work so that we could just talk about your time being home on short-term disability but now you've been back at work for three weeks three weeks so yeah, but life is busy and this happens. So I just thought that we'd do a video on updating one, how Nathan is doing after surgery. You know, we moved and yes, baby. And try again. <laughs> so we moved in May into our new house, which was, you know, a whole process in and of itself. And Nathan had surgery in June. So I just thought that it'd be nice to do an update video on kind of, you know, we've had a lot of stuff happen. So um, Nathan was home for, how long were you home for? About four months? Four months, yeah. yeah. So do you want to share what happened? Uh, I tore my meniscus. I don't know exactly how. Playing flag football. Playing football. But it was <clears throat> nothing that I knew when I injured it. There was no specific play. Yeah. I played, I had fun, normal soreness all over, being old. <laughs> Um, but the next day, my knee was swollen and uh, a lot of pain. Waited two weeks. I think we waited, honestly, a month. Yeah. We a waited month. a while, yeah. Um, but then I was like, I need to get this checked out. Yeah. And uh, MRI said I tore it. So I yep. said it's best to get it fixed now. The longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. So. Yeah. And thankfully, the surgeon was like, you could wait till after we moved to Correct. do the surgery. So we knew this. I think it was like February. February is yeah. when I injured it. When... Was it that when you injured it? That's when I injured okay. it. Okay. Uh, March is when I went to the doctor. Okay. And yeah, so it was March, end of March yeah. is when we scheduled the surgery to be June-ish. We should probably stop rocking. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we knew going into everything that we had to get done, you know, when his surgery date was and all of that. So. Um, that's kind of why we were pushing so hard to get as much done as we could mm -hmm. when we moved in because we knew that you were going to be out of commission for a little bit. Um, so what was it like for you being home for four months? Uh, I mean, it was different. Yeah. Just being home for that long, and yeah. like, you know, throughout the day and homeschool and helping kids with math and yeah. uh, all that, but it wasn't horrible. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad break, it wasn't horrible. <laughs> well, just work, but... like your perspective from, you know, you're normally at work during the day, mm -hmm. but then being home and just, I don't know, just being home. Like, yeah, it wasn't horrible. <laughs> I mean, were you expecting me to say it was horrible? <laughs> no, I was okay. expecting you to say something nice, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. Well, you were saying what it felt to me. Yeah, yeah. That the, it just wasn't horrible. <laughs> I didn't dislike it. I would like to be home more often. <laughs> okay. <sighs> you mean like, okay, I understand where you're coming from now. I get what you're saying. Like, you didn't mind being home. Correct. Yeah. It wasn't I was sick of y'all and ready to go back to work. Right, right. I didn't want to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't. So that's one thing. A lot of my friends would ask me, like, are you tired of him being home yet? And I was like, no, because I put him to work. <laughs> he helps get stuff done. Like, yeah. we would split the kids for doing school. Um, you were still able to do a good bit of stuff. Like, there was only a few things here and there that it was like, okay, no, we need to wait. Yeah. Um, I mean, you probably did too much, though. First couple of weeks, I probably did. Yeah, that was on you, though. That was not on me. <laughs> I told you to rest. Yep. Okay, Drew, can you find something for Camden? Can you help? I don't know what's 
Get that right there. Okay, sorry. Like we said, what was that? Third interruption? Yeah. Keep count. I, I already did. Oh, you did? Oh, I wasn't paying any attention. Sorry. Okay, so kind of from my perspective of things, I was honestly nervous and pretty frustrated. That, <laughs> to say the least. I wasn't that bad, but I was frustrated because... I thought my leg was going to be up in the sling. I, yeah. There's a hole. Yeah. So... Yep. I was, but on the other side of things. So, you having to have surgery done after, so soon after a big move. Mm. I was nervous about that. Like, how are we going to get stuff done? Yeah, because I thought that you were going to be laid up and like immobile for yeah, like two like months or something. All arm and leg <laughs> cast and couldn't yeah. do anything. Oh, thank you, baby. I got a cup of tea. All right. Oh, you're taking it back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Be careful. Here, Kinley. No, thank you. So, I was nervous about that. I really was. And I was kind of frustrated. Just, like, it didn't feel like a good time. <laughs> good timing. But nothing. And, like, really ever seems like it's good timing. <laughs> so, but in, like, hindsight, I also was nervous about, if I'm being completely honest too, financially. Mm. With you being on short-term disability and all of that. And everything that we were trying to do here. But it all worked out. So thankful for that. Like, um... So you, he got paid during that time. Um, <clears throat> so that was nice. Like, could you just stay home and get paid? <laughs> that was nice. Um, but looking back, having you home, just that quality time that we had, mm -hmm. like, that isn't, you can't put a monetary value on that. That was a sweet time, especially with, like, the little kids. Because you don't always get that yeah. time with them. So in hindsight, like, after being through it, I can look back and see... The blessing. Um, and we did still get a lot done. Yeah. I mean, just life, honestly. Like, it was nice having your help with a lot of the things from running the kids to places. And thank you. Um, okay, go. <laughs> um, just having your help sh shuffling the kids and doing all of that was very nice. What are you doing? Trying to no. help so you don't have to keep Okay. Doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so. <clears throat> that, so that was one thing for me but it all ended up working out um and just our family being together adjusting to moving into the new house I guess mm -hmm. is my point in saying that that was nice um because you literally had two weeks off for our move you went back to work I think for two weeks and then you had the surgery yeah, I guess so something like that so anyways how has it been going back to work a small adjustment getting yeah. back to work. Yeah. I mean, some stuff has changed in that little bit of time. <clears throat> but same old, yeah. same old. Yeah. Well, like from like, was is it harder to get up in the morning? Uh, Camden waking us up. At I seven, know. Six <laughs> forty-five. So I you're mean, not waking up too much earlier. Uh, you know, I wake up at six thirty-ish. So only. 10, 15 yeah. minutes earlier. Okay. So, um, <laughs> sorry y'all, but this is our life. Like, it is what it is. Okay. So, he's been back at work on my side of adjusting things. It's been, I knew it was going to be an adjustment. We also had a bad cold too. And a few hurricanes. <laughs> So, yeah. it's been a little you bit know, hard. Got back to work and then hurt. Yeah, yeah. And... Yeah, the first week, like, you had to take time off. Anyways, um, take time off for the hurricane, but. Yeah. Anyway, so with moving, how do you think the adjustment has been? For us yeah. or for the whole family? Both. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a little different adjustment for the kids, but, yeah. I mean, they're still trying to get adjusted to the consistency of us having it good enough for them to do stuff outside yeah once we got a handle on consistent mowing yeah we're more outside we got the ninja line up yeah so they could be more outside the dome uh, for them to play around so yeah i think once we started getting more things then they were more outside yeah and we're just now hitting the spot where we don't have to mow every, every five week. days yeah yeah. Which is nice. I was. Which isn't crazy because we're still hot, but yeah. it's I know, isn't that just weird? cool enough 
that the grass, but we also haven't had a ton of rain either yeah. recently, so it's not growing as fast. Yeah. We do need to just do one more, probably mow for the remainder of the year. I think it just depends on rain. Yeah. It seems like I think rain is the miracle grow and yep. then we have to mow a bunch. <laughs> yep. So how are you liking being in the country? Uh, less neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Less lights, so yeah. at night getting to see the yeah. sky, the, the, sky. Stars the sunsets. It, it's like every night. Yeah. Like, why does it look so much different out here? Well, before we had some trees in the back, yeah. so you can't really see the sunset because it was so close. I guess so. We had a smaller lot, houses next to you, so you didn't. I mean, you could see the sky, but it wasn't as much as here because we don't have a ton of trees. So, you know, we got a lot more open sky and mm -hmm. a lot more distance that we can see for sunset. Yeah. So. Um, no, it has been gorgeous. Is that seven? Yeah. Okay. I think I missed one. <clears throat> yeah. It's probably eight. Oh. So we still have a lot of projects that we're working on. Mm -hmm. Always. Which we knew that, like... We're gonna have a lot of projects. That was one of them. No. What? Oh, the chicken coop. The chicken coop. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought that you were pointing to me that I was you the project. You are the project now. <laughs> <laughs> you are the one that implements the projects. I have a lot of ideas. I do. Um, so yes, the chicken coop, which is pretty much done. There's just some tweaking that needs yeah. to happen, um, but it's functional, and that's what we were, you know, really trying to go for. Too complicated yeah. for someone that's not really. A carpenter. So. <laughs> no, you did a great job. No. A lot of spitballing. No, you're doing good. Spitballing, chewing gum. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Mm. All right, they're trying to do it. But. Yep, go play. Well, they're playing. They're playing with it. Play with them. Yeah. <laughs> they're playing baseball. Right? Or baseball with Something. a small soccer ball yeah because that's what you do yeah. so yeah we do have some things to finish up on like outside project we got to put that place set together that's probably the biggest thing You're outside about, not the pallet one right okay, yeah. One. yeah so Which hopefully yeah so hopefully we'll start getting to that we've just been so busy with soccer on the weekends um so hopefully we will get yep. to that soon um so what about you want to talk a little bit about the process of setting up a manufactured home? I know a lot of people are interested in that. Um, uh, I mean, you would know more. You were out here more frequently when they delivered the home, what they were doing, setting it up when I was at work. Yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> I didn't get to see a lot of that process. Well, just overall, like easy, hard, frustrating. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All of it. Um, Would you yeah, do it again? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been horrible. I mean, yeah. there are different tweaks from being in a regular house to yeah. this. I mean, there's some adjustments, but yeah. over time, we'll be able to kind of adjust and yeah. uh, make things work for our family yeah. that you know, other families may not have issues. You yeah. know, uh, Just being a bigger family. Yeah. Yeah. Creating so, our own bigger bedroom where other people don't right, have to do right. that. We're trying to kind of adjust it for our family. Yeah. Um, and that really turned out really good. I'm yeah. happy with that. I think the kids like it. We had a lot of help from a lot yes, of people. Yes, we did. That was so. a huge blessing. We um. So in case you don't know, we purchased this manufactured... Well, we purchased the land first. And then we set up a manufactured home on it. It is a five-bedroom, three-bath home. But we have 11 kids. So with that, we made some adjustments and made a, the second living room a big bedroom and made two bedrooms, smaller bedrooms into one big bedroom. And that just works for the way that, I mean, for our family, it just works better for us. Um, it opens it up more because yeah. putting one bunk bed in a tiny bedroom is not really functional. Right because where the closet door is to where the bed would have to be right. without blocking the window it just it wasn't functionable yeah um, 
Yeah. So by opening it up, we have more spots that we can wall off and not have to have a doorway there. Right. We can put two sets of bunk beds in a mm -hmm. corner. Uh, yeah. That works. Yeah. So it did work out. I mean, very good. So in like hindsight, so I don't, I think everything went fine. If you find land that you love and you want to set up a home. In hindsight, there was some extra fees setting up the house that it's all included in our mortgage that I wasn't necessarily aware of. I mean, I, I was and I wasn't, if that makes sense. Um, so it's like, if it's worth it to you to pay those fees and that type of stuff. And I mean, obviously it was to us. We had looked into many options and we needed something faster yeah. than the other stuff. There's a lot of red tape to get through. Like we had looked into doing like a barn dominium build and that isn't that isn't a normal thing here yeah. they're starting to but there's still a lot of red tape with it um that we can't get mortgages through banks yeah. with those or I mean, we did find a lender but there was still a lot of red tape and it was yeah. just a lot of legwork exhausting yeah. and it was going to take a lot of time too it was going to take a lot more time and not probably be as big as this that's to true be honest. yeah so we chose square footage um and the timetable like and not just the time for the build process it was the time for all the red tape to get through Correct. um so it this is what worked for us and i'm i'm pretty happy with it um mm -hmm. making it ours we've got a lot of future plans you know it's gonna take time um time and money to get there but a little bit at a time yeah yep we'll get there so um i think it's doing good so i i have a couple questions that i was curious what you would say to somebody okay. um <laughs> so if you can't tell i'm the talker between the two of us yep <laughs> that's why i got big ears the you're the listener <laughs> so i'm the talker so i'm curious of just some of your thoughts on these okay what is something that you would like people to know about having a big family hang on pause to think about that for a minute. So I did mention earlier, in case y'all don't know, we're a big family. We have 11 kids. We've been married for- 21 years. 21 years. You're the one that always forgets that. I, I don't forget. I just take a few minutes to get there. Yeah. So <laughs> we've been married for 21 years and we just knew that we wanted to have a big family. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of planned. I don't know that we knew that we would end up with 11 kids, but we weren't- Planned, but not planned. Yeah. Like not a number yeah plan. yeah we it were very open to what god more would than have four for us. yeah was always um, our... and the babies just came and here we are <laughs> so yeah. anyways with that said i'm curious of something that you would like people to know about having a big family there's a lot of preconceived notions or stigmas and stuff but what is something that you would like somebody to know um it's never as hard as you think mm -hmm. uh, i think most People think two kids, that's going to be too much or that's just enough. You can't have any more, but I don't think it's as hard as people think because you adapt, you change to your circumstances. You can't, don't always have to get brand new clothes for every time that they grow. I mean, you can go to consignment stores and uh, adapt in that way where it's not as bad as everybody yeah. makes it think that, oh, to have another kid is going to cost you eight million dollars per kid yeah um so i mean you just adapt and, and go with the flow and yeah you know, make it work make it yeah work. to add to that i would say any amount of kids that you have is hard if you have one kid two kids meaning mm -hmm. raising them because we it's you know that's a but i don't think it's as hard as people think right they think it a hundred times worse i'm not saying it's a cakewalk but right I mean, it's hard, but it's not as hard as I think you always assume it's going to be. Right. I don't think having 11 kids is any harder or is harder than four kids. There's a lot of adapting and we're tired because it doesn't end, you know, yeah. like in the season that we're in now. Yeah. Yes, baby. What I mean by that is like we're still taking care of little kids and then we have our oldest is in college. So helping her with that and growing yeah. to... I mean, she's a young adult, you know, helping her with those life changes and challenges. And then we're still catering to toddlers and stuff like that. So that part is hard and exhausting. 
but also it's worth it, you know, like yeah. as our kid is screaming in the background. <laughs> okay, context. It's been a long day. Yes. No naps. Lots of sun. Yes. Been outside most of the day. Um, I took the little kids to the park. We had this whole youth group thing, so I had the little kids with me so I could take the kids to youth group and he handled yeah. soccer. So that's, yeah, that's how we handle a lot. That's why, like, you being home for so long, it was so nice. We yeah. tag team. Like, okay, what do you want to do? Yeah. Like, it's... Like tonight. Yeah. Baths. <laughs> I was like, his back is hurting, yep. which is, you know, I understand. So I'm on bath duty. And knee. <laughs> oh, and your knee is hurting. Yeah. So I'm on bath duty and you're on... Watch college football? No. Oh. <laughs> no, you're on cleanup duty. <laughs> Oh, and that college football is on in the background. Right. Facilitate cleanup. Kids Correct. doing their chores and stuff. Correct. So, um, so you just make it work. No matter how many kids you have. One, two, three, four, they're, eleven. If you have two kids, they're still going to argue. Yeah. Whether you have eleven yeah. kids, they're going to argue. So, and... It is worth it. It's hard work, but it's worth it. Correct. But it isn't as hard as what you would imagine it to be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so. What is something that you enjoy most about having a big family? <laughs> Never a dull moment. As you can see, hey, as we can't wait. get through a 10 minute I know it. <laughs> video interruptions. And... It is. Um, there's always something going on. Um, but it's fun. Yeah. Like, we. It would be nice to have a date of just like just being at home. We did that once or twice where we had mom watch the kids and we just we, we came home. There, yeah. Um, and that was so weird because we are not home without any kids. Like, right. if we do a date, it's out if, somewhere. yeah, if my mom watches the kids, it's here, right? And it's we just logistics, it's easier, right? Right, and we leave, but like to have a date, like, what would we do if we weren't doing all of this? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. What's the first thing that popped into your head? <laughs> Sitting down and watching a movie together <laughs> in the living room, yeah. I can't even remember the last time that we did that, <laughs> but it's fun. And I know that we'll miss it. Like once the season is gone, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is what we, this was our dream was the yeah. big family. And, yep. Okay. So what is the hardest and easiest thing about having a big family? So first, what is the hardest thing? Hardest thing. Remembering the right kid's name. Take <laughs> <laughs> at pay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you know, I'm talking yes, to you. you know. <laughs> the person I'm that's looking at me, yep. I'm talking to you. Yes, yes. I didn't get the right name. But. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is the kids do that too. Like they'll call the wrong name. They call the wrong name. Mom. I'm like, I'm not yeah. mom. Yeah. Oh, I got dough on my arm. I made biscuits tonight, y'all, and they turned out pretty good. And I've got dough biscuits <laughs> dough on my arm <laughs> okay so that's the hardest thing is remembering their, can you say all their birthdays i believe i can you don't don't say them out loud but oh yeah uh probably 80 percent. i think that you know all of their birthdays probably if you, i mean if you <laughs> pressured me you know all their birthdays can you say all their birth weights no i can <laughs> In between four pounds and nine pounds. Oh my goodness. I didn't have no nine pound baby. <laughs> I know. So it's in between four pounds and nine pounds. I didn't have a four pound baby either. <laughs> okay. Well, I remember Jackson was small. So. He was small. Okay. So what is the easiest thing? <sighs> easiest thing. Sometimes bedtimes. Is this uh, going dark? Oh, it could be. Die. Yeah, maybe. Uh, sometimes bedtimes, just getting to ask the kids to, what they've done today yeah, yeah. and being silly and spending 10 extra minutes being yeah. tickling and being goofy. And now we got this thing that they want me to do every night and yep. time for bed. And I act like a monster and run around and chase them. So, yep. so the three littlest ones uh, are loving that. Yeah. So. Those are fun times. So. Yeah. While well, I still have a good knee. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hence why you've had to have knee surgery. Oh my goodness. So I guess that's it. We need to get these kids cleaned up and ready for bed. What time is it? Oh. It's that time change. The time change, the time change happens tonight. I 
don't like that at all. We have voted against this how many times? It's we like, have voted? Yeah, well, it's Florida, been, you mean has voted? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's been on the ballot. Like, let's change it, people. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it actually passed. But I don't we know. Fall back, so we gain an hour. Yeah, but it still messes me up for a long time. I don't like it getting dark early. I like the sunshine. Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm running late to work in the right. morning. It's 6.30 and it's light out. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be light in the morning. Yeah. Oh. That means Camden is going to be in our room at like, like 6.30. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No. No. Well, no, you need to watch out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So we got to end this video because well, sure. it's 7 o'clock. So we're, we're head of the game. Yeah. Head of the game. We can do baths in bed and in bed. clean up and maybe we can watch a movie. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That'll be solved. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Say bye. Bye.